front engine mount, we've got the gearbox engine mount, the left side of the engine mount, the whole drive chain can be dropped down. Every bolt's rusted, it's crazy, but it's coming out. We will attempt to remove the engine from the EVO 8 along with the front subframe, the rear subframe and the front firewall so that we can get the EVO and bear shard sandblasted. In the last vid, we put the EVO back in bear shard, bought a lift to remove the running gear in the hope of restoring the EVO to its former glory instead of scrapping it. We need to use a bar breaker. Ah, a sound of success, eh? There's three bolts down there, size 14, that needs to be removed. The engine mount to come off. Hello, oh, boss. Yeah, not too bad. That is that a DJI? Uh, just GoPro. <laughs> Next up, the gear linkages needed to be removed by bending two small pins that release the sliders. It's just the engine mount to the left and the engine can drop down. Literally so close. Firstly, we remove all the front spin bolts, which is a total of five size 17 bolts. That's a stock bush. It actually looks quite strong. We're going to bring the evil bolt for the front subframe. Next one for the bottom one. I've got to put a trolley underneath the engine so when we do drop the engine down, we can roll it. Now it's just a gearbox mount which is right down here. How is that still sitting? You can see the whole engine actually moving, look. That's supposed to be the exhaust heat shield. Right, so what we're doing right now is going to be removing the drive shaft and the prop shaft. And so I didn't realise that before the engine to come down, the drive shaft has to be removed. Connected by two to our bolts. We tried, we tried, we removed every bolt and it wasn't adding up. We then realised why. There was two bolts welded up to the car that was holding everything. I've never seen anything like this before. So you welded the bolts right here. So now we can't remove it. The only way we can remove it is saw that bolt off. Non-stop budge job done in the Evo. Not good. commented gonna need a big boy hammer. I'll take this out. Can't let it put us down, we have to keep going. Someone's gotta do it. I hope you got that. I didn't get it bro. You didn't get it? I didn't get no. it. No! The engine dropped and I didn't get it. No. But it dropped! Boom! <laughs> I look at it, it dropped. Look at this. Can you see it underneath as well? It finally came off. There is the turbo right there and it came off in the end. There's just one wire left that we need to take off. When we raise this up into the air, the sashi of the car, the full front 10 will roll forward. Rusty bolts didn't stop us, we can be done. Perseverance. Oh, it snapped. Are you serious? Yeah. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Now we're going to see underneath the evil and see what it's left. So you <sighs> yeah, we just decided to throw, just do a test dive. We've got a sandblaster gun. We're still using the same SGS air compressor that we bought from eBay. And now we've got some heavy duty abrasive. And so we're going to use that on the evil to see if it gets rid of the under seal and the arches. <laughs> that 
sandblast and this is machines it off it's not even perfect see Now the engine is out, it was time to remove the firewall cover which involves removing everything on the engine bay. We also remove as many exterior things as possible such as the window wipers, almost all metal. What is this? Literally got everything in BS Blackie, Strut Bolt. And that's the brake booster out. It looks a bit, I think it's just the master cylinder out. Get the firewall co cover off. Wow, look at that. Finally got the firewall off. Wow, that looks absolutely madness. That actually looks pretty clean, you know. There's a bit of rust in the bottom right corner right there. There's a bit of surface rust all across here, but apart from that, it's not looking too bad. So what we're going to do now is we need to get the rear subframe, get that off, then the car's completely a shell. Just a window and then the rear boot lid and the dashboard. And this car can go straight through to sandblasting the whole shell and get it repainted. So we're not far off. We now make a start on the rear subframe. Most of the parts and bolts are covered in thick underseal, but we start off by spraying WD-40 to let everything wear in. So to take the rear subframe off, from what I can see, two bolts at the back, three bolts on this side, three bolts on that side, and then probably three, four bolts at the front. See if we can get them all off. That weren't so bad for the first bolt. What is this? I'm like literally like the bolt is coming off and all this white powder is coming off. And that bolt rounded, it's not good. So this is the bolt removal kit which you'll see it's got like diagonal like cuts in there so when it grips on it'll just come off. I've got this long Halfords bar, I put it at the end of the bar breaker. The more longer it is, the more rotation it is, the more easier the bolt should remove. So now you've got, look how long you are now from here. Wait, I can feel it. It's working. Look, look at the bar, look how bent it is as well, but it's working. Ah. Oh, crap. It's not. No! Damn! He snapped the bolt! What are we gonna do? <laughs> so you guys look there, look at that. They just completely just snapped the bolt off. Bro. Oh man, this is next level this is. No matter how many challenges and how hard it gets with Almighty, we're gonna push through and get through it. Diamonds weren't built without pressure. Snap on tool, yeah? Look at this. That just comes to show that how stuck that bolt is seized onto the Evo. Say 80% of this car, we had to use bar breaker, so hopefully it's not breaking the bolt. All the broken bolt, these two broken bolts as well. Literally, it's a pile of broken bolts. Okay, we've got it off. Oh my god, it's so heavy. That's all break through, let's drill them out. Right, the dip 
shaft is free now. The drive shaft is what's next. The bolts are snapped on the subframe. Normally the diff would come down to the rear subframe because the subframe is stuck. I think we should just get the drive shafts out and get the rear diff out because we're going to have to build this car up anyway. So we're going to call it a day for this episode part two of the Evo restoration build. The next job is to remove the rear subframe somehow. Bolts are snapped. You guys can drop a comment down below on how we can get those out. Really appreciate it. But so far, it's almost a bare shell. We also need to get the fuel tank out, which can be in the next video. From how it used to look as a complete Evo 8, which we used to drive to this. I can't believe it's the same car. I mean, there's a 40 60 right here. It's absolutely crazy how far we've come. We've got in a portable lift as well. You guys are non stop showing support, and I really appreciate it from the heart. And may the Almighty bless each and every one of you. Peace.